The Texas Hill is an energetic and intelligent worker and loyal companion which is a cross between the Australian cattle dog and Australian shepherd. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Texas Hill. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use our photos in this video. If you will like the Texas Healer and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. Number 1. Origin The Texas Healer is not a recognized breed, but a crossbreed between two purebred dogs, the Australian Cattle Dog and Australian Shepherd. It's very likely that crosses between those two breeds have been around for a long time, but it was not until 1970s when some breeders in Texas started to cross those two dogs together with the goal of creating a new breed. Some sources say that the first person who registered Texas Healer was Lucy Gaines from Texas. Number 2. Utilization the Texas Healer was developed to be an intelligent, independent, energetic and hard-working farm dog and herder. And indeed, the Texas Healer has all those qualities. These dogs have natural herding tendencies and can be trained to be extraordinary farm dogs. Number 3. Companion of course, this dog is not only an amazing farm dog, but also a great companion. This breed is known to be very loyal and affectionate towards its family. It's very lively and energetic breed who will always be ready for any kind of an outdoor adventure. On the other hand, these dogs are known to be alert and suspicious towards strangers and they can make good watchdogs. The Texas Heel can also be a good playful partner for older kids and with proper early socialization they can live with other dogs or some other pets in the family as well. Number 4. Exercise as you can probably imagine, the exercise needs of these dogs are very high. They need plenty of daily exercise which includes several daily longer walks, hikes, jogs or swimming, but also mental stimulation such as regular fun training sessions, task-oriented playtime or some dog sport such as agility, flyball or herding trials. These dogs are not for everyone, you should be an active person who like outdoors if you want to buy or adopt this breed. Without enough exercise, the Texas Healer can develop some unwanted behavior such as distraction. Number 5. Appearance Just like with all the crossbreeds, the appearance is quite a lottery, but it seems that vast majority of Texas Healers are more similar to the Australian cattle dog than the Australian Shepherd. Most often they have erect ears, but the ears can be folded as well. The eyes are typically quite big and they usually have very lively, happy and alert expression. Interesting fact is that these dogs can show heterochromia, which means they can have each eye in different color. One eye is typically in blue color and the other in darker color, most often brown. The tail can be either bobbed or long. Number 6. Size this is very athletic and strong, medium-sized dog breed with average height between 17 to 22 inches, which is 43 to 56 centimeters, and weight is usually between 45 to 50 pounds, which is 20 to 23 kilograms. The females are usually slightly smaller than males. Number 7. Name the Texas Healer got its name from the place of its origin and from one of its parent breeds. Healer is a nickname of Australian cattle dog and it comes from their tendency to nip at cattle's heels to drive them where they want. Many Texas Healers also have this natural nipping tendencies, so the name is a great fit for this breed. Number 8. Coat the Texas Healer comes in variety of coat types and coloration. Most commonly you will see this breed in relatively short, 1 to 3 inches long smooth and soft coat, which is similar to the Australia Cattle Dogs coat. Very rarely they can inherit a longer and flowy coat as well. You can see this dog in different colors and color combinations, but the most common are black, blue merle or blue ticked with white or fawn. Number 9. Maintenance Great fact is that this is fairly low maintenance breed. If they inherit a short coat, then even without any brushing, they will keep it in good condition. If they have longer coat, regular brushing to prevent matting is recommended. These dogs are known to be above average when it comes to shedding. So if you want to minimize the shedding, regular brushing to remove the dead hair is recommended but it's impossible to stop the shedding. Just like with all dogs, you should also regularly check their eyes, ears, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health 
The average lifespan of Texas Hill is relatively high, between 12 to 15 years. There are some health issues associated with this breed and those are hip and elbow dysplasia, dysthesiasis and progressive retinal atrophy. These dogs can also suffer from coli eye anomaly, cataracts or allergies. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Texas Hill and what is your experience with this dog. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocka Dogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.